Isaiah here and welcome to a special Lightboard training. I want to talk to you about how to get hired in a job market that's contracting. Okay, there's a lot of layoffs and the leading indicator of layoffs is always in the tech sector, right? The NASDAQ, so we've seen those swell. What comes after that? All the other sectors, you know, whether it's pharmaceuticals, biotech, uh, even the, the not-for-profits, non-profits, NGOs, IGOs, government organizations. So you want to be prepared to get hired despite this. You can't just put, hit the pause button and say, okay, well, I'm going to stay in academia for a couple of years. Things are worse in academia. Academia gets its funding, right, from these other sectors, whether it's uh, the governments or the NGOs, even, even for-profit companies. So instead, you have to focus on, right, increasing the quality of your job search. You can't hide from this. Uh, you can't put it off. You can, but it's just going to be more painful later. Many of you are here right now uh, in this situation where you should have transitioned maybe a year ago when you could have walked out into the street and getting four job offers, upload a really bad resume, still get an interview. Okay, things have changed, right? You're gonna have to do a much better resume. So that's where I wanna start here. On your resume, 70% of the keywords from the job posting need to be on your resume. 70% of keywords on resume, right? So where are those keywords from? They are from the job posting. How could you possibly do that? Look, you're a PhD, so am I. I know what you're thinking. You look at the job posting, and you're like, I don't have these skills. There's no way for me to get them on uh, to, to my resume. You can get them onto your resume. You don't have to say I have, I'm an expert in XYZ. I have expertise in. You can say I have the ability to do XYZ. I have the ability to learn XYZ. I have an understanding of XYZ. Uh, I've done ABC, which is relevant to XYZ, thereby getting the keywords from the job posting on your resume. Tricks like putting the job posting at the bottom of your resume in white text doesn't work and it just pisses the employers off and employers talk. Their ATS system share data. I do not recommend that. You have to do this hard work on quality. You understand this. Any type of research as a PhD has a, a quantitative side and a qualitative side. Okay, so, and they're connected, right? So that brings me to my next point. You want to have a, a refreshed job strategy sheet, as we call it in, in a cheeky scientist, uh, constantly being reprioritized. You should have 100 companies on this sheet at any given time. And I'm giving you thresholds here, right? Because a lot of us don't think in terms of thresholds, and that's really what I, what I mean by quality, right? Thresholds, um, if I'm spelling that right. You want to make sure you're hitting these certain targets, and you, you can't hit a target you don't set. Many of us do a job search, and we have no idea where to start. We don't know what numbers we're aiming at. These numbers are really going to help you, and I'm just going to go through three here, okay? So 100 companies on a spreadsheet. There's 100 million companies in the U.S. alone as an example, okay? Right now, if I told you to make a list, you could probably list maybe 10 companies, Right, this is what I see when I ask PhDs to do this, maybe five or 10 companies. List 100, even in, in a, in a mid-sized city like in Austin or, or in Orlando, Rochester, San Diego, there's going to be 100,000 companies hiring at any given time. There's subsidiaries, sister companies, satellite locations. Okay, So get a list of 100 companies and then start looking for the best fit job titles there, not the perfect job title. It's not going to exist. And you start at the company level not the job title level because 80% of the job titles uh, for PhDs are never posted online. On LinkedIn, it's something like 9 or 10% of the job titles at our level are posted on LinkedIn. However, 98% of companies are there. So get 100 on a list. If you don't do that, you're not serious about getting hired. And then constantly use the 80-20 principle here. Prioritize the top 20. You could look at the number of employees at these companies on LinkedIn and see if that number is going up or down, right? That matters. And then finally, I want you to reach out to two people per company. The days of not having to reach out to people at the company, not having to get an actual referral, uh, the days of just getting a referral code from a friend who's like in the same position you want to get into, being enough to get hired in industry, that's over because we are in this contraction. Okay, so reaching out to two people, I recommend somebody that's in what I call as a proximal position. That's the same or similar position you want to get into. That's the person who can give you a referral. And then reach out to a gatekeeper. Okay, if you can't find a gatekeeper, as in a hiring manager, talent acquisition specialist, recruiter, then you want to look for a decision maker, right? Somebody that's in operations or, or some sort of executive decision maker role. Reach out to these two people. All of this stuff is interconnected. Okay, so for example, if an employer sees your resume in their system, they're going to go to LinkedIn right away. And they're going to see on LinkedIn Recruiter, the world's number one ATS system, if you're connected to anybody else at the company. If you are, that helps you have them reach out to you. In fact, LinkedIn Recruiter prioritizes you based on the connections of that company, uh, of, of the person who's searching you. And you should be following those companies too. 
right? If they find you on LinkedIn, right? If you reach out to them on LinkedIn, they're going to go into their database and see if you submitted a resume. This is the most important thing you can do right now to get hired in a contraction. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.